Do you need a privacy policy for your website? Do you want to try and create one yourself and hopefully you get it right and don't get fined? Or would you rather pay a lawyer thousands of dollars for one? Or wait, there's another option. The user Centrics Privacy Policy Generator. It's brand spanking new, lets you create privacy policies that comply with GDPR, CCPA, US state privacy laws, all with just a few clicks and for just two euro a month. Or if you're happy complying with just GDPR, it's completely free. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. You might recognize UserCentrics as a cookie law compliance solution we made some videos for previously. I recommend you check those out if you want to comply with cookie laws. This is specifically for privacy policy and privacy policy generation with just a few clicks, making it super simple. If you want to go to this page, there's a link in the description down below. Go ahead and click that. You will come here, read through the page if you want. We're going to hop right in and click on start for free. On this page, I'm going to click on sign up. I'm going to click on continue with Google. You can click on continue with Microsoft if you want, or just use a plain email address. And we're in. That took just a couple of clicks. Here's an example of the user centric cookie compliance I mentioned earlier. I'm going to click accept to accept all the cookies. If you want to see a video on how to set that up, I'll link to that in the card above and the description down below. So the first thing we see up here is free. Over here, we see upgrade. Let's just see what upgrade is. I think it's only a couple bucks. In the top left up here, we see the free has now turned to pro. Now we can create different types of privacy policies. With the free account, we can only create GDPR privacy policies. With the pro account, we can create all types. GDPR, CCPA, US state specific privacy policies, just as many as they have in their database right now. And they're gonna keep expanding. This product's brand new. And so over time, they'll probably eventually be able to have you compliant with all privacy policy laws all around the world, no matter what they are. I'm going to click on generate privacy policy down here to get started. I'm going to give it a name. Let's just call this WP Learning Lab privacy policy. I'm going to select a language, English in my case. You can create it in multiple languages, as you can see. I'm going to stick with English. And we see GDPR is pre-selected. You can also choose US state privacy laws. And then once you select that, you can choose the CCPA. I'm just going to stick with GDPR because this is also what you get on the free account. I'm going to click on next. So I filled in my company details on this page. All the fields are required. There are no optional ones. Down at the bottom, I said I do have a data protection officer, which is just a fancy word for someone who deals with the privacy policy issues. Like if someone emails you and exercises the right to be forgotten, they have to be removed from all of your databases, your mailing lists, your website, wherever you store their information, it's gotta be deleted. In my company's case, it's me. So I put my email address in there, click on next. Now we're gonna fill out this short form right here, list your company's products and services. I'm gonna write WordPress courses and education. For a data collection, my company collects device data. It does through Google Analytics. So I'm gonna check this box and I'm gonna choose possibly IP-based location from Google Analytics. Google Analytics shows real-time location, but just specific to country, not specific cities. Actually it does show cities sometimes. Um, shows browser information, operating system information, does not show first name or last name. Although if they opt in to our mailing list, I'll have first name, possibly last name, not date of birth, phone number and email, I'll get those. If someone purchases something through my website, I'll have their address and their city. And their payment info not stored by us because we have Stripe or PayPal process the payments. So it I don't have access to that data, but we might have to check this box anyway. Uh, possibly IP address, browser information and language, no browsing history as far as I know. Uh, payment method, like credit card, for example, if someone purchases with a credit card, it shows as purchased by a credit credit card. And if they purchase multiple things, it, there's a history of those purchases. So I'll select those two as well. Purposes for data collection, authentication and security in regards to credit card payments. Yeah, compliance, legal obligations, customizing, adapting user experiences. This would be if you have a dynamic website and let's say you send a newsletter to your list and they click on a link in the newsletter and it goes to your website and your website has customization built in where it shows their first name based on what their name is on your mailing list. You have to check this box. So you're gonna check that, I do that sometimes. No research and development, content delivery, turn that on. 
customer support, yes, payment processing, analytics and performance tracking, marketing and advertising, displaying videos. I display videos. Uh, user feedback and satisfaction. A lot of these are being checked off here. Data location and storage. Ugh. Mostly North America. That's where the website's hosted. That's where Google Analytics is. And that's where PayPal is. I believe Stripe is also in North America. So I'm going to choose North America for my answer there. Are you using any data protection measures? Not that I'm aware of. I feel like Google Analytics information might be encrypted. The credit card payments are definitely encrypted because I don't, I don't see any data in regard to that, but that's all done by PayPal and Stripe. So it's it, there's definitely data protection measures, just not done by me. So I'm going to say no, because they're not done by me. Do you share personal data with third-party services and providers? No. Cookies and tracking technologies. Enter the URL of your cookie policy page. Next, international transfers and outputs. Do you transfer data to countries outside the EEA? The EEA is the European Economic Area. So yes, because most of our stuff is in North America. Children's privacy, does your website have age requirements? No, it doesn't. Even a two-year-old could learn WordPress on our website, so no. Direct marketing and communications, do you ask your website visitors for consent for direct marketing? Yes, double opt-in. Please select the types of marketing, direct marketing you use. Just email, social media platforms, I use those. I don't use anything else right now. Retargeting, I do sometimes. Direct video marketing, Does that be, would that be YouTube? I'm not sure, I'll check that too. Do you have an opt-out link for your email or text messages? Yes, I do, the unsubscribe link. Data breach notification procedures, do you want to add a response time for data breach notifications? Sure. 30 days seems like a fair time for data breach notification because our data is not that sensitive. We don't host the credit card info. That's in PayPal and Stripe. The Google Analytics data is super boring. It's anonymized. So I don't think anybody care if our website was breached. Do you want to notify users of privacy updates? Mm, no, they can come to the website and check it out. Do you require opt-in for material changes? No. Let's click on generate privacy policy. If at any time you're working through this and you have to leave, you can always save draft and come back later. We're done now. I'm going to click on generate and it's ready. That took like one second. Here's the embed code. Give us some instructions right here. Copy the script tag provided below and paste it into the head section of your website, ensuring it is placed before any third party scripts that require user consent. Copy the div element and insert it where you want the privacy policy to be displayed. So we need to add this directly to the code of the header.php file. There's two ways to do this. The easiest way is probably the functions.php file which I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to do that. Or if you have a child theme, you could put it right into the header.php file. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not actually going to do it for this video, but I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to copy this code and we are going to go into our hosting account, open the file manager, and we're going to navigate to WP content and then our themes. Find our active theme. If you don't know which one is your active theme, you have to go into your WordPress website, go to appearance and then themes, and your active one will show either really big like this if you only have one theme installed in the site, or it will be smaller and far to the left. And usually the file name for the folder is the same as the theme name. So the theme name here is Astra, and the folder name is Astra. So I'm gonna open that, and in here, there's a functions.php file. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to go to the very bottom. At the very bottom, I'm going to add some carriage returns, and we're going to get a piece of code from my website. I'll link to this page in the description down below, but you want to come here and copy this code right here, and then paste it right there. And we want to replace this with the code from user centrics. Let's copy that again and paste that right there. You can delete this comment if you want to save the characters and then click on save and then you can come out and refresh your site. If it still loads, nothing broke. So thumbs up if your site loads right there. If it doesn't load for whatever reason or you get a blank screen, you did something wrong, you got to come back here and delete everything you just pasted in and it should load again as normal. And then to get the user centric privacy policy onto a specific page, we have to copy this go back into our website, go to pages, add a page. Let's call this privacy policy. 
going to choose an HTML block, HTML right there, and paste that in exactly how we copied it from the user centric dashboard there. Let's publish that, publish again, and now it's live on the website. But what if you're not using the block editor? What if you're using Elementor? Let's make sure we have this in our clipboard. Click on edit with Elementor. And this would be similar for any page builder. You open the page builder interface, you find the HTML widget, drag and drop that in there, paste it in there, publish that. And there's a privacy policy all laid out. That was pretty fast and inexpensive. In fact, free maybe if you're just doing GDPR. If you want to do the other ones I mentioned earlier, it's two bucks a month. If we go into the main dashboard, so we click on done over here in user centric. So we go to the main dashboard of our account. We can at any time come into our privacy policy, click on these three dots, click on edit, make changes to whatever we have to make changes to. For example, add a language, maybe add US privacy laws, add CCPA. We can make those changes at any time. In fact, let's just add these two. And let's keep everything else as it is. And then click on generate privacy policy. And now that's been updated in real time. It didn't ask us to update our script. It didn't ask for anything. We just added more information or we changed the information that we gave it. And now it's updated the privacy policy to reflect that. The updates might not be instantaneous, but pretty close to. They should be up there pretty quick. And that's how easy it is to create privacy policy pages at little to no cost using user Centric's privacy policy generator. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description down below. Sign up is super simple. As you saw, creating the privacy policy is super simple. As you saw, currently the most difficult part is adding the script to your website, but in the future, they might roll out a WordPress plugin at which point it would be a whole lot easier to do that. And if you got value from this video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to let me know. And then check out the video on your screen right now, which is a cookie compliance product created by user centrics called CookieBot. Make sure you check that out if you want to stay compliant to laws around the world without much effort. And I'll see you there.